Hey guys, JC West here, and I help women end the pain and the pattern of toxic relationships to reclaim their lives and attract empowering partners. And today's Sunday, so that means it's self-love Sunday, and today we're going to be talking about mantras or affirmations, whatever you want to call them. You know what I'm talking about, the staring in the mirror or reciting to yourself out loud, the I love myself, the I am an abundant person, the I deserve better mantras, things like that. If these work for you, beautiful, carry on carrying on. But I'm here to tell you that if they don't really resonate with you, if it feels more heavy when you say it, as opposed to a lighter feeling, then that's more than likely because you're trying to reach a level 10 and you're at a level one, maybe a two, maybe a zero. And not to say that you won't reach that level where that actually feels true to you because that is my desire for you. That's my purpose and I know you can achieve that. But right now, if telling yourself, I love myself, feels untrue, feels heavy to you, that's because your brain's not stupid. You're lying to it. It knows that. It's not going to accept that and take that in. So if you're having a hard time with affirmations, mantras, then I'm going to give you a new one today. And this is what I want you to use from now on. Somebody told me this mantra when I was at my lowest of lows, when I was so deep in that hole, that suicidal hole that they can actually push you in. The only way I got out was to focus and use this one mantra. And it's simple. Just ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? What would someone who loves themselves do? I want you to ask yourself this question multiple times a day. When you're waking up and you're feeling shit, you don't even feel like getting up and making your bed. Sit there, ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? Your brain will generate an answer. Based on the context of what you're asking it, based on the frequency of what you're asking your brain, your brain will always deliver you an answer. And whatever suggestion it gives you, you go do that. And I mean, I want you to use this all day, every day. You are sitting down to dinner and you're still kind of, you know, a little bit peckish and you're thinking, I'm going to go for that second slice of cake for dessert. Ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? When you're picking between this outfit or that outfit for the date, ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? When you're confused and you don't know what decision to make, get quiet, sit down with yourself for a minute, and seriously ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? See, your brain will accept that. Your brain will take that in because it's not claiming that you love yourself. It's just offering you solutions and suggestions based on what it knows a person who loves themselves would probably do. And the more that you follow that intuition, so to speak, the more you actually take action on what is offered to you when you ask yourself this, the more you're going to build that self-esteem the more you're going to see results, the more you're gonna get those dopamine and, well, oxytocin if your brain tells you to go give your family member a hug, but the more you're gonna get these happy chemical hits and that's gonna build your self-esteem, that's gonna build your confidence and it will compound. It will just keep compounding and the more you have evidence that you love yourself, the more you have evidence in your body feeling healthy, feeling strong, seeing the payoff of actually taking care of yourself and how it makes you feel and how it makes others perceive you and how it makes you feel like you want to interact with others when you're in that vibe. The more your brain is going to gravitate towards those solutions, the more your brain is going to crave and push you towards those things that you got a dopamine hit for. So for Self Love Sunday today and for every day following, I challenge you, use this mantra every day. 
all day. Ask yourself, what would someone who loves themselves do? And let your brain generate an answer and then go do it. And if you're looking for some deeper help to really tackle that underlying trauma, that underlying subconscious trauma and the pain that they pushed you through by being in your life. And if you'd like to learn some powerful techniques to reprogram your brain and give your life that kickstart that it needs, book a call with me and we'll make that happen. And until then, create a great week.